Hello, everyone. My name is Da Xun Wang. I'm a professor at the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University. At the Kellogg, I'm the founder and director of the Center for Science of Science and Innovation, which is the first center worldwide dedicated to the emerging area of research that many of us now call the science of science. Broadly speaking, the science of science is a quest to turn scientific methods upon science itself, hoping to use and develop tools from complexity sciences and artificial intelligence to broadly explore the opportunities for innovation and promises of prosperity offered by the recent data explosion in science. What's the wall we are breaking down? In many ways, the idea of taking a scientific approach to road science and innovation is not new. It dates back to at least mid-past century, thanks to several founding giants of the field, such as Thomas Kuhn, Robert K. Morton, Harriet Zuckerman, the Sala Prize, Eugene Garfield, and many others. So this recent surge of interest in our quantitative understanding of science and innovation aims to stand on the shoulders of these giants, but then take two things that they did not have the luxury to explore in their time. The first is the increasing availability of large-scale datasets that twist the entirety of the scientific enterprise, helping us capture its inner workings at an unprecedented level of scale and detail. Second, the remarkable parallel development in fields like network science, data science, and artificial intelligence over the past decade offer us a wide range of tools that help us make sense of this data with growing accuracy and robustness. Together, they tell a complex yet insightful story about how innovative careers unfold, how collaborations contribute to discovery, and how scientific and technological progress emerges from a combination of multiple interconnected factors. Overall, by combining diverse approaches from physics and computer science to economics and sociology, results from this research program can, and in several cases, have led to qualitative shifts in the way that knowledge is discovered, science is funded, scientists are trained and nurtured, Excellence is recognized and rewarded, and failure is avoided and exploited. We're very excited about the initial progress we have made over the past few years, but we're even more excited about what's next for the field. Indeed, looking back to the history of humanity, few things have played more important roles to humanity than science and innovation. Our bet is that going forward, in a world of increasing complexity and interconnectedness, the role of science and innovation as the fundamental engines of growth and prosperity will only become more important. Therefore, the guiding question of many of our thinkings today is the following. How do we foster innovation that would improve quality of life and standard of living for the next 100 years? Our hope is that Understanding the secrets behind science and innovation could create and capture enormous value for science and humanity. Mm -hmm.